Don, in trying to decide the difference between life and not life, which is a real issue at the conference that we've had among physicists, from both a physics and a theological point of view, uh, how, how important is that question? Well, I think for me, of course, the, 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 the real question of what might be important from a moral view is, is sentient life, life that, that can have experiences. I mean, if, you, if we assume that amoebas and so on can't really have experiences, then, you know, I'm not sure. I mean, of course it could be, you know, maybe God would, would find it more interesting to create a universe that had life, even if it didn't have sentient life, than just inanimate things. So, you know, maybe life would have more value to God, of be, of, to God directly that God could enjoy you know, having this life, but if the life doesn't have any sentient experiences, I don't see that the life itself would have any direct intrinsic moral value. It wouldn't have any intrinsic experience. So I think the, the real step is, is, is more toward this, the, the, the sentient experiences. Do you think that God's creation of the laws of the universe will naturally give rise to life and, and also to consciousness, or, or, or is there something special that has to be at those two uh, boundaries between life and not life, and then consciousness and uh, uh, life and, and consciousness? Well, I think God has, to, has had to, to use very special laws of physics in order in order to create life. I think he, he couldn't just use any sort of random laws and random initial condition. He, I think he chose it to, that it would lead to life. Now it does seem that, it, that, it, it, that life might be very rare. We don't know how rare. We don't know what, what fraction of planets have life. And you know, I mean, many of us think that the fraction might be so low that there's none within any of the maybe 10 to the 24 planets that we can see. And this universe. is life or consciousness or sentient life? Well, well okay, and probably pro maybe I should restrict it more sentient life. I mean, it could be the case even for, even for life at all that there might not be other, but it's... it's Would the I guess laws it, of physics uh, lend itself to that, that it was so unique that God did it just for this one planet? That seems extraordinary. Well, it's just, it, may, it, it, may, it may require, it, it, may, it may be what we might say is very improbable on a per planet basis. I mean, I, I, as I said, I think God creates everything definitely. There's not any real randomness, mm. but there still could be frequencies. It could be that, that something is very infrequent. And so I don't know. For life, it's, it, we were discussing this with Paul Davis and others, is, mm. is, is life very infrequent? And, you know, it, 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 it could be. We don't know. I think, I think advanced life, such as at, at our level, is, is perhaps could be extremely infrequent and so infrequent that there would be nothing that we could see within the universe, but we do believe the universe is so big that there probably are other examples way out there far beyond what we can see.